Hi, everybody. I'm Big Al with Country Music News International. Today, we're going to talk with Tyler Ramsey. Tyler is a singer, songwriter, guitarist. TylerRamsey.com, a brand new single that's come out. It's called These Ghosts. We're looking forward to checking out a brand new album that's going to be coming out February the 9th. Tyler, it's great to have you with us. Man, it's great to be talking to you. I really appreciate you uh, you doing this. Oh, no problem. That's what we do. We got to bring the people to you and <laughs> get you out to the people so they can get yeah. some great music. No, it's huge. Everything. I mean, it's uh, yeah, I definitely, you know, all the help I can get <laughs> getting it out there is is definitely appreciated. So thank you. You're very welcome. Once again, it's TylerRamsey.com for more information. So before we get to the single, let's talk about this album that's going to be coming out uh, February the 9th. And the album title is New Lost Ages. Uh, what's your thoughts on the album? Kind of give us, a, you know, a sneak preview of what we're going to be hearing. Well, this album, uh, you know, I, I'm, I feel like these are the best songs. I mean, I, I don't know how many people might say this to you, <laughs> but I feel like these are the best songs I've ever written. I, I, I was really focused and had some focused time to work on them. And... Uh, <clears throat> feel like I kind of evolved as a as a songwriter in, in the process and came up with an album's worth of uh, uh of songs I'm really proud of uh and then I I took it to my friend Phil Eck who's a producer uh out in Seattle who did a lot of the stuff that's on sub pop records and um he, he did like things like the Fleet Foxes and the Shins and Modest Mouse and Built to Spill and um you know so he, he just took it out to him and he he wanted to work with me so i was super excited and and we made this album together uh out there on the west coast and in, in seattle and um and it turned out like just taking that leap of faith of working with a with a producer like that that i'm you know kind of intimidated by in a way and just uh, have a lot of respect for uh, the record just turned out uh, better than I'd hoped even. So I'm, I'm excited for people to hear it. Can you give us an idea of the, uh, of the theme of the record? You know, uh, maybe as a, as a whole with all the songs on it, what, what, what kind of, what kind of a theme are you looking at in that record? I mean, it's not all consistent. I mean, the, the album is definitely an album. Like it works together as a, as a whole piece of, you know, a whole creative kind of work but um i would say if there was like kind of a recurring theme and this even applies to like music that i've done in the past is the is the idea of kind of weathering storms over and over again in your life and moving through them to be on the other side and and you know uh, that that feeling of like you know, kind of getting knocked down and getting back up again and knowing that you're probably going to get knocked down again and you'll have to get back up again. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of that in in these songs, like, you know, um, a lot of darkness and light kind of like balancing each other out. Um, and and that's kind of where, where, you know, a decent amount of my material comes from just because that's just the way I see you know, uh, yeah. living. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I don't know how many times I could tell you I've been knocked down, but it's been quite a few. You just have to yeah. take it off and get back up. Sometimes it gets a little tough to do that. Oh, yeah. It definitely does. Yeah. yeah. So, TylerRamsey.com, TylerRamsey.com, and you can get all kinds of information. I think, uh, if I remember correctly, looking on the website, you had some pre uh album as well. But uh, February the 9th, which is not very far away from here. And uh, you've got the the video of the single that is out right now called These Ghosts. Uh, you know, that's not really interesting. As a matter of fact, I watched the video a couple of different times. I was trying to absorb up exactly, you know, where you're going with this. And, and I, I think I've got it in my head. You know, people's the songs like that you do or any other songs, it affects people in different ways. Right. And uh, I think it's a great video on YouTube. Oh, thank you, thank yeah. you. Very, very well done. But these ghosts, I, I'm, this is where I'm going to hit you up before sure. we get into the song. Um, 
Are there ghosts in your past that have laid heavy on your on your mind? Um, you know, I, I guess that would be really the question. Is there some? Is there a lot of ghosts in the past that's it's laid heavy on them? Yeah, I mean that goes with kind of what I was saying before about like weathering hard times and and moving on and and um yeah there are definitely things that have uh, events in my life that are hard to shake like that and and I would consider those like that's that's kind of the the idea of that song is like really trying to make sure you let things go that uh you know that were could have been like really difficult things in your life or, you know, things that just didn't seem to be working out for you. Um, and just allowing yourself to move on. And that can be really, that can be a really difficult, uh, proposition, you know, like trying to just trying to shed things that maybe uh, want to just hold on to you, you know, you carry things around with you sometimes and, and you, you might think, you finally let them go and then you know six months later you're they're back on your mind and kind of weigh, weighing you down so it's it's kind of that it's kind of that process of of shedding maybe dark times or hard times and and trying to step out again into the light and move forward once again everybody i always make sure and i tell everybody quite a few times that uh, who we're talking with and, and why, but uh, TylerRamsey.com, everybody. That's where you can go. And February the 9th, the album released, Two Lost Ages. And you can go check out these ghosts, the video, the official video, which is already on YouTube. And if I remember correctly, I just happened to look just because, and you'd already had 19,000 views on that thing in the last day. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Yeah, I, 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 hadn't, I hadn't seen that. That's pretty nice. I, I, that makes me really happy to hear. That was a <laughs> that video was such a such a fun process to work with my friend who's a photographer and uh, he's his name's Parker Fister and he's a fantastic photographer and we had done some done some work together uh, doing photo shoots to get ready for this album to come out and then I was enjoying working with him so much that we decided to do the video together and he really went all out you know he he really listened to the song a lot and asked me questions about what what i kind of was going through when i wrote it and i think he really did a great job so yeah i'm glad you i'm glad you like it and nineteen thousand other people hopefully yeah. like it, but we'll see yeah yeah it, it, it looked, looked real good um <laughs> there is one portion of that video i was watching and I thought it was really cool. The I'll give this part of it away. House and the lights flashing in the windows as you were walking. I, I thought that's interesting. There's yeah. just some really good little good things in there that I could see in the video. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, that was his uh a vision of his was to have people in that and that was an abandoned house and uh just across the border in Tennessee. Uh and he uh he went out and scouted out the location and and took us you know took me and the and the extras which who were a bunch of friends of mine you know and took us out there and we spent like a a long evening and into the night uh just working at that place and then there's a there's a barn that we were in with lights shining all over the place and it just yeah it was really uh such a fun process and and the visual when i finally saw what it the way it turned out i was just Man, just over the moon so so happy oh you should be yeah you done he done a great job i love your vocals by the way you uh looking at you here on the screen as we're talking right now i never would have thought you would have a set of pipes on you like god i mean it's so <laughs> they're so smooth and oh thanks I'm, as i cough i'm like <laughs> um yeah it's a <clears throat> that's one thing about working with Getting to work with Phil Eck, the producer, uh, he really paid uh, just his attention to detail is is amazing. And and when it came time to do the vocals, uh, he just made sure they were right. So I did, you know, I I did take after take after take until we got got it right. And it was yeah, it was a really cool experience um, to work with him. Well, 
the video. Everybody needs to go check that out on YouTube. And it's called These Ghosts, TylerRamsey.com. The album, New Lost Ages, or I'm sorry, New Lost Age. Is that age nope. or ages? Was ages. That right? that, it is that, ages. Yeah, you're right. Plural. I can't, I can't even read my own writing. Can you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> New Lost Ages. That comes out February the 9th. Now, you've got uh, you got a pretty good size tour coming up. I mean, you're going to be all over the place. I know this. You can go there and check out all the tour schedule. I'm surprised to see that. I mean, you're playing every little place here and there and everywhere all the way out back to Texas and around. That's, uh, that's really interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a busy, busy time. And that's really kind of only the beginning of it. You know, that's just the first, that's the first run. There'll be a lot more, uh, a lot more tour lining up uh, over the year, you know, the coming year. And, uh, you know, a couple trips over to Europe are in the works. And, you know, so just, um, yeah, getting, getting as trying to spread the music and, you know, meet people and just kind of, uh, yeah looking forward to seeing how it goes and hopefully people turn out come out if i'm near where you live come out and see me play well you're not very far from me i'm not in germany but i'm only about three <laughs> hours from you you never know i might just show up somewhere because i really do i mean that enjoy you vocals great Thank i hope you. everyone will take the time to come see you and also oh by the way let me ask this question uh when you go out to, on tour are you going to have a band with you some of the time uh, this first run is going to be mostly duo shows and i'll have a, a an extra person some of the time that's going to be sitting in so we'll have like a three-piece sometimes or a, a duo um and then as it as it progresses some of the stuff will be full band like i i'm hoping to take the full band over uh, over europe and you know, do that. We did that on the last record and I took my band over there and we had a great time. So I, yeah, I'm hoping to get some full band shows in the mix and do some festivals and things like that. But this first one, just kind of going out, seeing how it goes and taking, taking one of my old friends with me who plays a uh, guitar and pedal steel. And uh, he's, he can play anything. He's a drummer, and, you know, he can sing harmonies. So yeah, we're going to, It'll be a full sound, but it, it'll be two people making it soon. That's great. That's great. Um, before I let you go, um, have you ever seen the boogeyman over there in, in uh, those North Carolina hills? I had to ask that question because I've read so much up and I've been <laughs> watching stuff about Asheville, North Carolina, and they, I, they say there's a boogeyman over there. I figured you might write a song about the boogeyman. Oh, my gosh. Wow. No. <laughs> I've definitely had moments where I got spooked out on a trail or something, but I don't know, you know, probably it was a bear, but uh, <laughs> um, that's wild. Yeah. I'm actually working on this thing right now, a project that's kind of based on some of those stories uh, that are associated with these mountains here. Um, I'm working on a, on a, on a piece with a dance company and I'm writing music for that. That's going to be happening in, later on this year. Uh what we're doing we're kind of interpreting some of the old folk tales and the kind of exploring that kind of you know like mythology and the and the and the things that you know the the haunted stories of, of the woods around here and things like that so it'll be that's wild that you bring that up <laughs> well i tell you why because when i was watching the video on these ghosts and uh, i seen you walking down through the woods i was thinking i just wonder if there was a little bit nervous maybe the boogeyman was up there getting ready to get <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I spend a lot of time. I mean, you know, I've spent a lot of time in the woods around here. So uh, I haven't seen it yet. But I've heard, you know, I have heard people talk about it. Like there's some, there's some definitely some old like, uh, you know, tales that even like, I guess the Cherokee have tales about things over in the mountains cl closer to the Smokies and things like that, that um, just, yeah, that'll make you a little, a little nervous to be walking around in the dark. Yeah, Wendigos, I think that's what some of them are called. But, oh, wow. You know, but what tribe? You have to look that up sometime. But uh, is there anything else that you'd like to tell our viewers or listeners? Um, oh, you cut, out. you cut out on me. Is there anything that you would like to tell our video? <laughs> I'm going to get this right one way or the other. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to tell our listening or viewing audience right now? Um. 
you know, I just I really am excited to to bring this music out and it's been kind of a long road. Uh, you know, being a musician and weathering the the pandemic times and all that stuff and all the you know, not being able to do what I loved and you know what what I do to support my family has been really really hard so this this process of uh recording this album and getting back out and and doing these shows for people is uh is really a big deal for me and I really hope that people uh get a chance to come out and see what see what I do and you know uh, pre-order the record or or order the record off my website and you know and if you like it come out and see a show <laughs> Well, they won't be disappointed. You're a fantastic guitarist, a super singer, a songwriter as well. And the website, once again, is tylerramsey.com, tylerramsey.com. Uh, Pre-order the album. comes out February the 9th, New Lost Ages. Go check out the video on YouTube of the single that they've just released called He's Ghost. And I'm sure you can probably already purchase that one if you want it. Already uh, just go to any download platform and pick it up. I think that's the best way to do it. It's easy. Yeah. But I hope they'll come and see you because I certainly would like to. Back yeah, back. I hope I hope you do. If I'm up that way, you, I'd love to see you come out sometime. Well, we may just make that happen. It might come sooner than you think. But uh, Tyler, I appreciate you taking the time to be with us today. here on the Well, thank you so much for having me. At, yeah, let, thanks for spreading the word. And I, I appreciate your time. So thank you so much. You're very welcome.